What's going on guys and welcome back. Ubisoft has finally given us update on Prince of Persia Sands of Time Remake. A game that has always been staggering when it comes to launch. And apparently Ubisoft has given us an official update on their Twitter page, which is coming from Ubisoft Toronto, who have actually said that Ubisoft Toronto is going to be joining the development of Prince of Persia Remake for the Sands of Time game. And we're excited to rewind time and bring our studio's creativity, uh, expertise and updated tech to refresh the beloved our classic with our own partners at Ubisoft Monetrial. Now, although you guys might be thinking that, you know, well, it's a good news and all that stuff, but there is actually a huge catch because, you know, this game was going to get released in one of the worst states possible when Ubisoft India was developing this game. And after all the massive hate that Ubisoft received after hyping up the game for like all these years and for the very first time, fans have actually won in terms of fighting against the corporation and demanding for a good quality game. So Ubisoft decided to basically postpone the game and they handed over the project to Ubisoft Monetrial hoping that they could do the job and apparently it seems like uh, Monetrial is still struggling with Prince of Persia Sands of Time and now they're introducing Ubisoft Toronto to take over the project and they're going to be working alongside Ubisoft Monetrial. Now what's concerning here is that Ubisoft Monetrial are fully focused on all the upcoming Assassin's Creed games with Shadows coming up this year. There's also Mirage and Jade that actually got released for the mobile version and there are plenty of AAA Assassin's Creed games and most of the upcoming Ubisoft games that are getting released for iPhone 15 Pro and higher models. And all of this production is actually being done by Ubisoft Monetrial. So basically the studio is very busy in terms of developing all the Assassin's Creed stuff and you know porting the game to different platforms. And that's one of the biggest reasons as to why Ubisoft has basically been halting this whole project for a very long time. And now the studio that's working on Splinter Cells and Far Cry games are now pushed into working with Prince of Persia. Now, if you actually take a look at what they said on their tweet, it basically mentions that they are going to be bringing in some new creativity, expertise, and updated tech. Now, this is where things are getting interesting because I'm just guessing that, you know, Ubisoft Toronto is most probably bringing in a whole new engine or, you know, a huge upgrade to the game because the game currently looks like a cartoon and no way or shape or form does it even look better than the original Sands of Time. So let's just be honest here. So when Ubisoft says that they're actually bringing in some new updated tech this means that the game could actually get a massive hike in terms of quality but at the same time it seems like you know Ubisoft Toronto is going to be facing a lot of issues in keeping up most of the upcoming projects that they are currently working on one of the biggest projects that fans are very excited and they've been waiting for a very long time is the Splinter Cells and one of the fans went on and asked Ubisoft Toronto what happened to Splinter Cells to which they responded saying that we are still working on it and they basically replied to most of the fans asking about Splinter Cells that the the game is still in works. So this is of course not confirmed, but then it's just my assumption that, you know, usually when it comes to studios being split up and they're forced into, you know, working on a game that's not really part of their studio, it just means that it's going to jeopardize most of the other games that they're working on because now they need to balance their diets. It's basically getting very unorganized at this point with Ubisoft and that just concerns me to see what's going on with Prince of Persia Sands of Time. But good news is that the game is of course going to be coming out soon and they've just mentioned that the game is not cancelled because a lot of fans have been suspecting that you know maybe Ubisoft cancelled this game completely and that's just not the case anymore. Now apart from that Ubisoft has also announced that Star Wars Outlaws is going to be getting an official full-on gameplay session. Now this is what they said get a first glimpse at the new thrilling gameplay and open world of Star Wars Outlaws. Join us on June 10th at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and 9 p.m. CEST at Ubisoft Forward to learn more. And of course, Ubisoft has confirmed that they're going to be showcasing about 60 minutes of like complete gameplay and most of the showcases. And it just seems like, you know, they're going to be focusing more towards Star Wars and Assassin's Creed Shadows this time. And from the look of the gameplay, as far as what I've seen, it just looks absolutely stunning, man. The new Star Wars game is a banger. Uh, the gameplay looks incredible and the open world seems to be filled with a lot of stuff that you can do and it just gets me super excited at this point there are different wildlifes you can just free roam there are races inside the game where you can gamble around and exploration part of this game is just incredible and the same engine has been used in the new star wars game which is already used for avatar frontiers of pandora so you already know what kind of foliage and you know the texture packs are like because the graphics for avatar frontiers of pandora was just incredible it was just out of this world and i'm 
super excited for it. And it seems like we're going to be getting a final long gameplay session for Star Wars Outlaws. And also it goes on for the same with Assassin's Creed Shadows. And most probably most of the content creators who are getting to go to the event are going to get their hands on with the game. Because usually every time when Ubisoft launches or does this Ubisoft forward event and then you are there live in that show, they kind of just give you like a hands on impression with these games, which are not allowed to share. But I'm pretty sure that most of the content creators that are going to go get their hands on the game are going to be sharing most of their feedbacks, which we'll of course take a look at. So let me know down below in the comments, what do you guys think about whatever is going on with Ubisoft, the Prince of Persia situation, and what do you guys like to see a Prince of Persia game coming out anytime soon? Because right now we're getting a lot of Assassin's Creed games. There's a lot of games that's coming out this year, isn't it? So we're basically just jam packed with a couple of good titles this year. And honestly, Call of Duty coming up with Black Ops 6, which is actually said to be a continuation of Black Ops 1 and 2 story. So this year is just going to be filled with a lot of exciting titles and I'm just hyped for it. Now, if you guys are new to this channel, make sure to go ahead and subscribe. It's absolutely free of cost. And you know, 70% of you guys watching videos don't really subscribe and you guys miss out on most of the contents that I upload on this channel. So, and I keep my fans updated with all the latest stuff that you guys need to know about gaming news, informations, reveals, and also I do some announcements for some of the indie titles that's coming up. So you're going to be getting a whole sum of content every single day on this channel and if you guys want to join me on live streams and just chill with me then make sure to go ahead and check out my second channel i've been doing a couple of live streams there having fun with you guys just chilling around it's not a channel that's focused on gaming in particular it's just a just chill channel and just having a good time with my audience so if you are interested in that stuff i will leave the link to my second channel in the pinned comments of this video so make sure to go ahead and check that out now with that being said hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day and i'll see you guys on tomorrow's video until then take it easy fams and goodbye